So to grow and build practice with seeing a two digit number as tens and ones, we're gonna play a game called face place value face off. So here player one, they may not move their cards. Whatever number is drawn first is their tens and their second number is their ones. So player one drew seven, 10, three ones for 73. Player two has two tens. Oh, player two probably knows that they lost, but wait, they need to wait because they could still earn the point. Player two has two tens, eight ones for 28. So in order for player one to get these cards, and player two pays attention because if player one doesn't do it, player two gets the cards. Player one needs to use that language. Seven, 10, three ones is greater than 28, or they can say 73 is greater than 28. And player one gets a point. Now you can play to 10 points, 20 points. You can play for a set amount of time. It doesn't matter. The purpose of this is for students to be using that language, four tens, eight ones for 48. Four tens, oh, this is close. Ah, oh, player two didn't win. Four tens, two ones, 42. So player one, again, would have to say the point or the place value or the number 48 is greater than 42. And now you're um, using the two digit numbers also using greater than, less than. All right, then another way to do this is you can have dominoes. So students have dominoes um, on their board. They're sharing one set of dominoes. And what we're going to do now is player one is going to turn over a domino and player two is going to turn over a domino. And before they turn it over, they need to establish, can they turn their domino around to work with tens and ones to try and get the greater number or do they have to turn it over and what it, whichever way it lands, it lands. I personally think um, it's kind of nice to let students um, move it around because that also shows that they understand place value. Because if I saw this, I would say, ooh, I have an opportunity to win because I know that three tens is 30 and six tens is 60. And this is a better uh, point value for me. So 63 is greater than 43. So player one would get the dominoes. Do it again, turn it over. Uh, their biggest number is 20, their biggest number is uh, 40. Uh, 41 is greater than 20. Player two wins. Now this allows the teacher to walk around the room and see what's going on and ask them, what is your number? How many tens do you have? How many ones do you have? Or can you tell me that number in tens and ones? Uh, why are you choosing one ten five, or why are you choosing five ten one? Not in an accusatory way that they're right or wrong. It's I just want to. I'm just understanding. So, um, again, here player two, or you might you might walk up and say, "Hey, player two, how did you win that over that? How do you know right away that you won?" That's a great question. How did you know right away that you won? Player two would say, "I have five one. I have five tens, which is fifty, and they have four tens, which is forty. And so my number 51 is greater than 44. So player two wins. Do one last one. And here, again, great conversation to ask. Could you have changed your number? Would your number have changed at all, player two? And why? And here we're looking for a language of the one in either position. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be 10. 110, 1. 1101. And here you could ask a player one, how did you win with 5103? Or could you have won with 3105? That's a great question as well. All right. It allows for these skills when we're in gameplay to just naturally talk about and come up on the spot. All right. Enjoy.